What's up, everybody? Welcome in. Uh, recently, a former colleague and old friend of mine reached out to me for a commission. He asked if I could paint an abstract family portrait. And in this video, I'm going to show you the process that I used uh, for that to, to make that painting from start to finish. So I start out by using a tiled print of the photo that was given to me to transfer uh, the figures to the panel exactly the way, uh, you know, the size that I want them. And although this is an abstract painting, I want the figures to be you know, well represented and, and look somewhat at least like the people that are in the photo. I'm going to tone this with a light, uh, thin coat of, of blue and, and green, but it's thin enough that I can actually see the line work uh, through the paint so that I'll be able to, to place the figures the way I want them. So this is going to be a gift for his wife for their anniversary. And the photo that I'm going to be working from is uh, one from their wedding day, which is really cool. And this is an abstract painting that I did that my friend really liked. And so the ask was for me to recreate the wedding day photo um, in this abstract style, but using uh, colors that were his some of his wife's favorite colors. Um, so the colors that I'm using are going to be the ones from the floral bouquet um, because that's that those are her favorite colors. One of the challenges early on was to try and match the colors as best I could. And thankfully, the colors that, that I needed were pretty much straight out of the tube. I didn't have to mix too much to, to get colors that were close to what I was going to be using. So I ran into an issue uh, very early on. Uh, even though I had intended to only use the outlines to get the basic shapes of the figures in place, by tracing the figures onto the panel, uh, I think it got me on a path of trying to paint way much more detail than was necessary. And I found myself just being too tight, um, adding in too many details, trying to add features to the faces and the clothing, and it just got me all out of whack. And I knew it. I could tell as I was painting. I was like, this isn't going the way I, I thought it would go. And so I felt like it had lost the, the spirit, you know, some of the spirit that was in the original abstract painting that was part of the inspiration for this piece. So thankfully I have that piece on hand and, and I brought it out, you know, and compared it to the work that I was doing just to, to see how I felt about it. And from there I started to adjust and simplify. Uh, a lot so using much more flat colors just big blocky shapes um, you know eliminating features where I could especially on the faces and I think that as you'll see with this time lapse um, I'm going to continue to go back and forth between trying to add too much detail and trying to simplify and I think that you know in the end it obviously worked out and I'm happy with where where it ended but this is the process and so I'm sharing that with all all of you so if anyone sees this stuff and wonders how it gets made you know it's not it's not always as straightforward as it may seem I'm experimenting with color the whole time I'm just playing around with different uh, shapes and values and I've actually cut out quite a bit of the painting uh, just to speed up the process here but I I'm trying a lot of different things I probably repainted this painting on this panel maybe five or six times. Although there was a little bit of struggle in there, I think for the most part I was just having fun with it and just continuing to push it and play with it and to see what was working. Yeah, speaking of time lapse, so I've sped this up a ton and you know honestly that's really just because this painting took so long to make and there were just there's just hours and hours of footage. But I wanted to include as much of it as I could so that those of you who are interested and um want to see how these things get done or you know are, are working on some of this stuff on your own can can maybe get something out of it i do like using the palette knife uh, to create these sharp lines that are very expressive uh, that are, provide a really nice contrast to sort of the the big flat shapes and uh, i do that quite a lot and, and i think that that was certainly something that was present in the original abstract painting so I wonder how many of you, like me, deal with fear and doubt in the painting process or in the art making process. I certainly do. And I think, you know, I like to talk about these things because it helps me understand, uh, you know, my approach and, and sort of documenting how I'm evolving as an artist. About this time, I still had doubts about this piece and I was wondering, I think I was just putting pressure on myself, right, to, to try and make it 
too perfect in my mind of, of what I envisioned it to be. And I wasn't quite sure I was on the right track at this point. And I mean, I had confidence that I would get there, but I was just a little bit concerned that, it, you know, because it just didn't go as smoothly as I thought from the beginning. I actually took a break at this point and started to, um, and made a different painting on paper, using similar colors, using the photo as a really rough reference. I just did a very loose, very abstract version of this painting, um, similar to the way I had done the original abstract painting that was the inspiration for the piece. And it just to make me feel better about things. <laughs> I just wanted to see, you know, if I could recreate that process, how I would feel about the, the, the outcome of it versus what I was working on on the wood panel. And so this is making a very loose, very simplified abstract version very quickly, uh, not fussing over any details, just uh, playing for the most part. And I actually felt pretty good about it, good enough to sign it. Um, and then as often you'll see after I signed it, I still continue to work on it, which is kind of interesting. But that piece turned out pretty, pretty good. Um, it was kind of fun. You know, then looking at that and comparing it to what I was doing on the wood panel, I was able to bring some of those, some of the elements that were present in the abstract study, the little quick study that I did, I was able to bring back into this piece and I actually felt more confident uh, to finish it up and really felt pretty good about, uh, you know, where it was. I waited until the end to do the edges of the board. Um, I recommend doing that first. I, I ended up sending uh, my buddy um, all three paintings, um, the, the wood panel one that he had commissioned, uh, the abstract study that I did during the process, and also the original abstract that he liked so much uh, that was, you know, the original inspiration. All right, well, that's it for this one. Um, let me know what you think. I hope uh, some of you out there got something out of this, found it interesting, um, learned what not to do, at least <laughs> in some cases. Um, yeah, let me know. Appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. See you next time.